Hey doll baddies, I'm back again with another video. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to revive your curly hair and get it all back, the curls popping. But before we jump into that, I will be using um some alcohol because we got to clean off this lace. As you can see, it's dirty. I just took off the wig, so we got to clean the lace. I'm using 70%. You could use 50, you could use 90, 70, whatever. It's going to do the job. And you just also want to take a rag, a rag you don't care about, your hair rag that you have designated for you know cleaning your hair or hair in general whatever and i'm put the rubber alcohol i put pour some onto the rag and as you can see i am going upwards removing the glue so going upwards motion to remove the glue don't go downwards and don't be making no circles or nothing like that because that would make no sense the glue is already tacky so it kind of makes my job a little easier to remove the glue because once i do remove my wigs i use c22 which makes the glue tacky so it's not super hard and whatever um if y'all want a video of how to remove uh got to be glue from a closure or a frontal comment that down below and make sure you thumb this video to let me know so i can show y'all how to remove a got to be glue from lace because you don't use alcohol alcohol is a whole joke trying to get got to be glue off okay so i'm just trying to go in the upwards motion i'm not trying i am going in the upwards motion removing all the glue and if you do see the lace getting a light that's the that's just you know removing um the glue obviously and the foundation i have on the lace so it's just going back to its regular color because um yeah but once you install your wig again it won't be as white i'll show y'all what i'm talking about later on in this video but be mindful on how rough you're going because if you go too rough you're gonna create a bar spot so i ain't gonna lie I created one little, y'all could probably see it where my thumb is at, and I started putting pressure and covering it because I didn't want to make the hole bigger. But luckily, it was on the side, so it's not a big deal. But just be mindful that you don't want to make no holes in your lace. So when I seen that, I was like, okay, I'm going to vibe off that because that means you're going too rough, too hard. So, yeah, y'all see the top right there a little bit? It's looking a little white. That's just, you know, the regular lace color and yeah so the lace is now clean if there's glue in the hair don't worry about it because we're gonna wash this wig and get it together so this unit is my um is it deep curly hair from queen life the information will be down below so i will put that down there and right now i'm just taking my water on warm and cold heat i just uploaded it so the water can run a lot and i'm just drenching the hair and when i tell y'all this is the go this is the bomb diggity this is the secret this is the key silicone mix baby as you can see i got the beer bottle the heavy duty the biggest at the hair store invest in this because this is gonna bring back your curly hair this is gonna bring back your straight hair this is gonna be back bring back your dusty hair if they are just trash and super trash it ain't gonna bring it back but any hair that needs some revival this is that product if i knew about it years ago i would have been on this like all my head like with this your your hair is going to last you especially if you're not the best at taking care of hair but this silicone mist, baby, is the truth. So I am detangling the hair. Yes, I did start bottom to top, but then I was going to the top, trying to get the knots off, going through the bottom. So some hair was coming out, and it was a little raggly, tangly, but that's besides the point. But I just put some um, silicone mix on the hair, and then I'm just detangling it, just kind of like how you would wash your real hair that's all i'm doing because you know i got the conditioner in there so it's making it nice and soft and then once you do that you detangle the hair get all the mats out and stuff like that i'm gonna go ahead and rinse it and i think i got the little cold water on so i rinse all of that out so i'm gonna take some more and i took a whole handful baby this product you can't even use this in moderation use as much as you need drench that start that baby in because this step right now we about to deep condition but Use as much as you need to. This is the truth. You're going to get your money's worth. So, it don't even matter. Like, drench your hair in this. Like, make sure everywhere I get is nice and coated. And I'm going to go ahead and put this in a plastic bag. Because now it's time for the deep conditioning process. And, yeah. 
So I like to put my hair in the microwave so you know it can heat up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on uh, 25 seconds. And for my microwave, if you don't use it for like hours, it takes longer to heat up whatever you're heating up your food, obviously. <laughs> talking about whatever you're heating up but it do take a little longer so i was being mindful though because you know some depending on the make of the microwave depends on how heat so start with a small number then work your way up if you need some more so as you can see i took it out i tested it to see how warm it was and i was like okay babe it need another 10 more seconds and then you want to do it like that you don't want to do a minute because you're burning your hair you all set your house on fire now and you don't want to put five seconds because you want you know the conditioner to marinate in the hair deep condition you know get the curls all back and right and tight and stuff like that so be mindful start with a small number y'all know how y'all microwaves is y'all know and then do it like that but don't overheat it the hair the back should not be hot like oh shit you can't hold it it need to be just a nice warm temperature and then you want to go ahead and let the wig sit you could even put it in front of a like a dryer let it get um cold a little bit like back to regular room temperature and then you want to rinse it out and my lace is looking all popping and clean the curls looking all good i was struggling to open the bag because my fingernails were so sensitive after taking off acrylics who child yeah if y'all know what i'm talking about then you know and then now i'm just gonna rinse out my hair with some nice cold water and baby we is back in business okay yeah, y'all gotta try this out let me know let me know let me know like y'all results how it worked out for y'all because this is definitely the truth all you're gonna do is go ahead and apply that wig and baby what happened the curls is popping the hair looks brand new i'm in love nice soft hydrated not dry and yeah so that basically sums up this video if you guys have any comments questions or concerns you already know the deal go ahead and put that down below don't forget to like comment and subscribe because you got to be a part of the Betty game we taking over you know what the fuck going on and it's lit period <laughs>